I am Dr. Brian Budgel, the director of the Neurophysiology Lab at CMCC in Toronto, Canada. Perhaps 50 years ago, looking at the, uh, the scientific knowledge of the day, you would have said that chiropractic was unscientific, that the, uh, the scientific knowledge of the day actually contradicted many of the core concepts of traditional chiropractic. That situation has changed completely. Uh, these days, a lot of the research which is emerging is in support of some of these fundamental concepts. The origins of chiropractic were in the management of visceral disorders. In fact, the first two patients that uh, D.D. Palmer recorded were patients with uh, first uh, a hearing difficulty and then with a cardiovascular problem. So the concept of uh, the subluxation originated as a cause of visceral disease. The subluxation as conceived by uh, D.D. Palmer was in fact a biomechanical lesion of the spine with neurological implications. For many years, there has been a great deal of very good uh, biomechanical research so that we understand how the spine moves and uh, how it may become dysfunctional mechanically. But we've uh, tended to ignore the neurological implications. And uh, perhaps this is because of the, uh, the technical challenges involved in this type of work. Now, with advancing techniques, um, we are able to revisit some of the neurological concepts. And in fact, um, most of the research which is coming out tends to validate these very core ideas of chiropractic. I think the quality of the work which is going on right now is underestimated. Um, information is coming out constantly, information which could improve practice and also uh, help to validate chiropractic care in general. It's not widely appreciated inside the profession because much of this research is published in, uh, in scientific journals which the average practitioner Indeed, the average chiropractic college uh, would not have access to. So yes, the, uh, the information is much more uh, valuable, much richer than many of us imagine it to be. What modern research does is to validate what the average practitioner is doing in their practice. And this gives the practitioner more confidence. The knowledge helps them to educate their patient. It helps them to converse with their colleagues and with other health professionals. And so it gives the profession something which is very important, and that is cultural authority. People understand that we understand what we're doing, and therefore they will come to us uh, for care. This helps us to, uh, to access and therefore to help more people. If I think of where chiropractic was 20 or 25 years ago when I came into the profession, there was virtually no research in support of the chiropractic management of low back pain or neck pain. And in a couple of decades, that has turned around completely. Uh, and in fact, many of the people who previously criticized chiropractic management uh, of back pain patients are now scrambling to take on board our approach and, and our techniques. I think if you look 20 to 25 years into the future, you're going to see the same thing with the management of somatovisceral disorders.